So our fifth fight of the night. Getting ready to go underway here with uh, Joel Blanton out of Animal House in Kokomo, Indiana, taking on Justin Weeman out of Strasser's Freestyle Academy. And we have, this is 170 pounds again, right? That's right, 170 pounds. Blanton coming to us with a record of 13 and four. Weeman at 16 and six. So uh, both these guys with little experience under the belt. Yeah, this is definitely an evenly matched fight, I'd say. I've seen both these guys fight. And they come to bang, you know, they, they're going to fight hard, they're going to fight fast. Well, Wee Man, uh, one of our, uh, you and I's favorite fighters to watch, he, he always seems to bring the fight. Uh, most definitely, most definitely. He comes and, and is not afraid to fight. He'll, he'll strike, he'll grapple, he'll do whatever he needs to do. And uh, Blanton looking to secure an early takedown. Wee Man using the ropes uh, to keep himself up, and that's where experience pays off. Yeah, I think Blanton's doing a good job here keeping his body on him because he's a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact. He's keeping his body on him, not giving him a chance to move. And, he's, and you see, I think he's got the, the two underhooks around, you know, on, on the body of, of Weeman. And, you know, he's not really giving him a chance to get going here. Blanton finally able to secure the takedown on Weeman. But uh, Weeman is no slouch on the ground here. And uh, keeps planting in the half guard. Yeah, and I think, you know, Weeman's doing a good job of defending. And Blanton, as you can see, he, he's expending a lot of energy. I said they were going to come out hard and fast. But eventually, you're going to have to slow down because you can't keep the same pace for 10 minutes. And, uh, and I think Weeman kind of realized that. And, and you know, I think he's going to just wait for his time. Well, Weeman doing a nice job of keeping uh, Blanton from uh, securing a position to be able to strike from on the ground here. Blanton continues to work, and uh, Weeman just continues to uh, keep himself out of harm's way. Yeah, it seems that sort of seems. I think maybe that's his strategy. Just wait, 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 wait for your time. But the problem with that, I mean, that's a good strategy. But the problem with that is you can't wait too long because what if a guy never does tire? Right. Yeah, Weeman doing a nice job of uh, keeping Blanton in his guard. There's a lot of action going on here. A lot of action. Look at these. Look at these guys. Just, just and, punching like. <laughs> <laughs> it's an active ground yeah. <laughs> fight. <laughs> Those punches may not be effective, but they're certainly uh, numerous. Yeah, they were just punching like there was nothing else to do. <laughs> he stood up by the referee. That's Brian Garrity. That was a, a really sloppy. Uh, uh, Weeman connected with that right hand. He made Blanton pay for that, actually. Yes, That's he did. The combination. Kind of Brian better be careful. He's throwing a lot of wild punches and leaving himself open. He's well, got to be careful. Well, he's at a significant reach disadvantage here as well. But uh, so far, he's he's held his own. Weeman with a knee to the head that looked to uh, land. If we oh, oh boy. big right hand and Blanton goes down. Wow. I might get this man a pillow and a blanket. <laughs> uh, Weeman hit him like he said something about his mom. Sure it did. Doing a nice job of covering up as Blanton comes in. Blanton continues to press forward. And uh, Weeman actually looking less comfortable, but hits him with a right uppercut. And, and it, uh, it was a short right uppercut, It too. really was. It just didn't look like I have a lot behind it. You know, it's... Sometimes it's not about, you know, all the power and these big wild punches. It's just placing that punch in the right spot. So, Justin Weeman victorious by a knockout over Joel Blanton.